Do you all struggle with knowing what gifts to give someone for the holidays, particularly your children? Well, this year, why not try the five gifts rule? Yeah, so here's the idea, because I definitely need these ideas. Instead <laughs> of blindly buying a bunch of different things, you buy five intentional gifts that each represent a different idea. What am I talking about? <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> this lady that's joining us this morning knows what she's talking about, parenting and lifestyle expert Kathy, Kathy Klein, who is uh, joining us with, yeah. to tell us about this five yeah. gift rule. So good morning Girls, to you. Good, good morning. morning. Yes, get off the stress and anxiety <laughs> train, ladies. Yes. We have seen to have lost sight of what Christmas is really about. It's about yeah. love and kindness and paying it forward and not keeping up with the Joneses. Yes. Exactly. So let's get to the five gift yeah. rules. Okay, so, so explain to me, what, first of all, what is the benefit of doing this? Well, it's less stressful, you yeah. enjoy it a lot more, and guess what? You stick to the budget. Yes. And you're not just do. buying, yeah. I'm sick of buying men's yeah. underwear and socks, ladies. I'm yeah. saying it, I'm sick of it. I don't want to do it yeah. anymore to just wrap gifts and, you know, have them under the tree. Done. Especially when you got five siblings. It exactly. Gets oh, it's hard. yes, very hard, but you stay under budget. Yeah. It's a good thing, yeah. So the first one is a want. Okay. This is probably where you're going to use the most money, and um, it's usually the electronic devices, the phones, the remote control helicopters, the cars. Um, so this is where you're going to spend the bulk of your budget. Okay. Yeah. All right, then the second the second one is need. Yes, this is useful and fun. You got to look through the closets if your child's involved in sports and needs a new baseball mitt. There it is. If they like art supplies and they're lacking in certain equipment, you buy that. If you guys have teenage girls, blow dryers blow up every week. <laughs> blow yes, dryers, yes. flat irons, hey, shampoo, mm -hmm. all that stuff. That's a need that you could do. Perfume. Yeah. That's a really good reminder because I have been stumped about what to get my girls, but their art drawers are mm -hmm. running low. Yeah. There you go. So you just cool. brought a great idea yep. for me. Yeah, go there. It, they may not totally love it, but it's perfect. Yeah. It's like I a good it. one. Yes. I love the need. Yes. And the next category is the want. We did the wand. No, is the, 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 the where? The where. The where. Hazel. You could have two wands. Listen, oh, okay. I, I want, she wants something. I she wear. wants something. I want what I need and I want to wear what I want to wear. All right. My son's going to love this category. The, the wear. Well, I usually do this in October. I go through my kids' closets. I clean them out. Yeah. Donate the clothes. And then you see what items they are lacking in or need to update. And you sweatshirt, sneakers, yeah. hats, you know, all that stuff. So. And, and the thing is, I don't know about you, but with <laughs> girls, it's like oh. you have to stay with the trend oh, mm -hmm. on absolutely. what is a good thing to wear. So you right? got to Google every day to see what's trending for <laughs> yeah. those chicks. Yeah, because one of them doesn't really care. The other right. one's like, well, mom, these jeans are too big, and mm -hmm. I, this is what everybody's yeah. wearing. So And you don't need the old clothes, so that's yeah. good. I got me one of those too. Definitely. You do? Yeah, he, he had ten. I do not. He had ten, and it just all changed. It's I'm, like, yeah, ten. Like, yeah, ten year old. I have two boys, so woo. <laughs> But what about this one, read? Yes. Read. This, I think, is very important. You find out what genre they like. And let's say you have a teenager who's struggling with their self-esteem. Don't just stick to fiction. Go in to a bookstore and see if there's maybe a book that would help them oh, with that, you know, like a self-help book. And I think it's very important that teenagers, they need that. Mm -hmm. They know, they need to know that they're not alone. And just don't stick to the fiction. You can go to the nonfiction. If they like nature, get a nature book. Yeah, and sometimes yeah. journaling. Absolutely. You know, right? That's another thing. This is a good age yeah. that they start doing I mean, I turned too. my journal when I was raising my sons into a book, so right there. Oh, there really? Go. Yes. There we go. Wow. Perfect. <laughs> Journaling is awesome. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And can you talk to us about uh, the final category? This one is really interesting. It is. <laughs> it could go either way for the kids. <laughs> they could be ecstatic or not. Experience. Okay. An experience that will make them a better person. Drew Barrymore talked about this, that she doesn't get her kids any gifts. She just does an experience. It could be, you have to really think, this one's going to take a lot of thought. Yeah. Volunteer at a soup kitchen as a family. Yeah. Do a weekend habitat for humanity. 
um, send a check to St. Jude. What I did every year is we went through the toys. I called the local hospital back before COVID, would wrap the toys up, the toys they outgrew, and brought them to the hospital. You could still do that, but you buy new toys. Go to the dollar store yeah. and buy a ton of toys. Have your kids help wrap, take it to the local hospital. You could go sledding, ice skating. You could do, you know, this is important because yeah, it can yeah. make them mold who they are. You know what I mean? Who mm -hmm. they are. And Pay these, it forward. And, and these one. are the memories that really stick yes. with you. Because you know how yes. quickly a child forgets oh. a gift, <laughs> like a toy? It's yeah. like they toy. play with it for five minutes and then it's gone. And it's broken. But something like this is something mm -hmm. that will stick with them for the rest of their lives. My boys are men now and they, re they don't remember the toys. Yeah. They remember going to the hospital. Yeah. and giving the toys out. It just makes them feel better. We don't have to have, it's not about how many presents you have exactly. under the tree. Please, the world is, we need love and yes. kindness, ladies. <laughs> Make a difference. Yeah, so it's, not just about, you know, yeah. gift giving. It's about, you know, you, that's mm -hmm. also an opportunity to be a blessing yes. to someone else. A blessing, I love a that. A blessing yeah. to someone else while teaching your little ones lessons and caring and loving on others. Even your adult kids. I'm yeah. still teaching. Exactly. <laughs> They're well, still are, in therapy. So. This is a really, really <laughs> great idea to keep yeah, things is kind of under control mm -hmm. and to make it, it mean something special. All right, thanks so much. And you can follow. Happy holidays. Happy holidays to you too. <laughs> you can follow Kathy on Instagram at Unfiltered Kathy or you can visit her website, unfilteredkathy.com. A lot of great ideas there too. Thanks, ladies. Right. Thank you so much for Happy joining holidays. us today.